don't apply for jobs everywhere. I'm looking for a job that I want to do. When Scott found out the Lands Inn Cat Resort was hiring a cat care technician, he applied immediately. I remember him saying, I'm your guy, I just am, I just, I'm your guy. And we said, okay, <laughs> and he is, he's, he's calm and he's a cat person. Uh, and you really have to be, because you can't fake it. Cats know uh, that you understand them or you don't, so he's a, he's a cat guy. You're nice, aren't you? Yeah. The quote I heard from a movie once was that uh, this person had more respect for cats than he did for dogs because Cats make you earn their respect, whereas dogs just give it away to you. You know, they'll run up and do anything you want them to, but cats will check you out and make sure that you're doing it right first before they give you that respect and the affection that you're looking for. And so I kind of like that about cats myself. Scott's wonderful as a caregiver. He loves all the cats, it's obvious. He knows all the personalities, all the likes, dislikes, and he thoroughly enjoys his job. And it's fun when I come in because he takes the time to go through all the cats with me and, and talk about them and he's covered in hair from stem to stern so there you go. Hi Buddha, you ready? Come on out sweetie. Here we go. There, come on out sweetheart. Bula always remembers Scott. We found her in pretty rough shape uh, about 11 years ago in the fall and um, we had, uh, uh, well actually the vet Nigel, Nigel Bass kept her for quite a while, got her healthy and then sewed up her eyes and we have a blind cat named Bula now. She wasn't well, she got better, we boarded her and she, she got sick again and Blythe and Scott took care of it. I mean they were very good with their time taking her to her vet getting some tests done back and forth and back and forth, trying all different foods, got her back on track and we've never looked back again. I think what you get with having a veterinarian on site is we notice right away when there's something not right and then we can do whatever needs to be done. I always wanted to be a vet when I was young but never had the grades for that and so you know this is the closest I'll come to that. We actually do medical care, we do um, uh, I do insulin shots, I do um, inhalers. We have a guy here who takes an inhaler twice a day. We count out 12 breaths, right buddy? I remember coming here for my job interview and walking into the place and going, what, this is for cats? I found out since then that this really is a place that's a step above anywhere else and having checked out some of the other places, I don't think I could ever go to another place because it just wouldn't be as nice as this. So I fear it's ruined me for any other work in the cat care industry. Uh, but it really is a great place, you know, we've got heated floors in the wintertime so they can just flop wherever they want. There's a big air exchange unit that pumps air into the main building and then each room blows air outside so there's no sharing of air. It's a place they really spent the time and effort to think about it and do it right and I honestly don't think there's another place like this on Vancouver Island. It's been something Dave and I have wanted to do for for so long to open a place that um, where cats could be happy if they had to be away from home where they could be as happy as possible. It's a great setup that way. Picture windows outside and they've, we've placed bird feeders strategically all the way around so everybody has action. There's birds and rabbits and squirrels and every kind of wildlife you could imagine around here so it's an endless show. You'll find a lot of the cats will just spend their time staring out the window watching the show as it goes. Designing it just right has, has made that all come together, and it's fun. Oh yeah. We've been fortunate enough to travel a bit more, so she's been here uh, four times a year, let's say. Vacations is a big part of it. Um, something I didn't realize is that home renovations was such a common reason for people to bring their cats here. Uh, over and over again, we have people who are having their floors done or an addition put on or something, and they just don't want the cat to go through the stress of that. The one reason I wanted a job like the Cat Resort because there is no stress there. It's just do the work is the only, the only way you would have stress is if you weren't doing it properly. I don't consider 
cuts and scratches stress because that's just, I call it a badge of honor sometimes. I actually look forward to seeing my pals there. You know, when it's a full place, you make friends with a whole bunch of cats and uh, you know, it's kind of sad to see them go sometimes too. You get to see them, you know, usually twice a year when their owners go on vacation. So it's pretty good all around. One of the best things about working in a place like this is you, you get a moment every now and then where you're trying to build trust with a cat and it's tough because they're scared or anxious or angry. Sometimes it's a few hours down the road and sometimes it's a few days uh, where you'll finally get through to a cat and you'll see like Izzy did today. She's been very nervous for about four days and I spent time laying on the floor with her and then we spent time patting up on the big cushion up top. And then this morning I brought her up onto the cushion and we had a nice padding and she stopped and looked at me in seconds, we went from nervous cat to total trust and just giving herself over to me. And there's nothing better than that, I tell you. Okay, Scott, how much snuggling on the job do you get? Guys like Toby here, we get cuddle time all the day because that's all he wants to do is just shove our foreheads together. He's such a great guy. I like to try and make at least a quarter of that time entertainment time for the cats and me too. It's definitely the coolest job I've ever had. There's no doubt about it. 